What's up guys, it's Chris here. If you're coming back from previous videos or you've been subscribed to the channel, you'll notice something looks a little bit different this time and that's that we got a new webcam. Well, we actually got our old webcam to work again as a webcam. So I'm really excited to be able to bring you guys better video quality. I've, I've so much appreciated the recent subscri subscriptions, the recent likes and comments on the videos. It really means a lot to me. And in order to give back to you, of course, I wanna give you better quality on these videos and on, um, on everything that I do. So this contributes a little bit to it. So again, just thank you for for liking and subscribing, it really means a lot to me. In this video specifically, I'm gonna go over my investment in Vivi, uh, the collectible specifically, and how much they're worth right now. Now, I'm determining my worth on this video through an eBay, eBay spreadsheet that an, a fellow Discord member, his name is Butts, he also has a YouTube made for us. Uh, in his eBay spreadsheet, it goes off the three most recent sales of that collectible. It goes off the average price that are, of the total sales, uh, and you're actually able to go in on the spreadsheet and put in how much you own of each collectible, and it calculates it for you. Now, I'm not naive. I realize that eBay maybe isn't the most accurate depiction of the worth of these collectibles because maybe on eBay, people don't know as much. Um, maybe they are getting scammed. Maybe one party is not holding up. Um, I might even go over a little bit on what the collectibles are worth according to our Discord spreadsheet. So in that spreadsheet, that's modified by these uh, members of Discord and Telegram that are escrows or that have a relationship with escrows that basically have verified sales based on the Telegram or Discord, uh, and they update the information based on that. So those are also confirmed sales and another way to tell about the value of these NFTs. Uh, the last thing I would like to add about as far as value goes is that, yeah, it's, it's relative. It's hard to say that the value... Uh, what exactly it is so I'm not gonna act like my portfolio is worth more or less than it actually is because at the end of the day the NFT spectrum is still relatively new to a lot of us and we simply just don't know and we won't know for uh, until like maybe a couple months from now but uh, we have really good ideas and as you know from my previous videos with my passion on VV and OMI um, I'm really stoked and I believe in this a lot so I think that they're gonna be worth a good amount so we'll get right into it um, also before I actually show you some of my collectibles you might be like well that's not that much and it's really not you know in my opinion your investment should be based on where you're at in life if I was had a better paying job and I was single uh, right now I think I would have bought a lot more um, I have a seventh month month old baby uh, I'm married and I don't have a very high income job so buying the this amount of collectibles and the amount of omi that i bought was a big risk for me and at the end of the day when it comes to cryptocurrency when it comes to vv when it comes to really anything you're investing in there's still risk involved especially on like altcoins so just remember that you know amount is definitely relative and i'm definitely happy with what i got so i'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough then i'm gonna talk about worth uh first and foremost i have my prima donnas up front i just kind of bought them because they were selling out and that's all that they were selling out so quick i went ahead and grabbed three i'm not really familiar even with the spectrum i honestly just bought those specifically to resell them matter of fact i don't even remember the name of this other one right here i think it's belina or something please correct me in the comments if i'm wrong uh the rest i am familiar with at least to some extent so stay puff man this one's special to me because this was my first nft this was the first purchase i don't remember i think it was like 24 dollars or something and like that was a big deal for me at the time because like i'm spending 24 dollars on something i knew nothing about when i first bought it you know i was like oh that's cool it's nft i've heard things about nfts i've never bought one never even thought about buying one i got him and i just fell in love with him man i like i blew him up in ar i walked around him i saw a shadow uh people on my social medias were like oh did you buy a giant stay puff man you know that's how realistic they are looked uh and that's he kind of just hooked me so yeah that was cool so my second purchase is actually i no longer have it and some of you who know about vv are gonna like roast me in the comments and you know, bring it on uh, my second purchase was nightwing and uh, i actually did end up selling my nightwing i sold my nightwing for twelve hundred dollars kind of i wouldn't say early on probably like two weeks in and going back to what i said earlier in the video um <sighs> It had been hard to explain to my family that I risked a couple thousand dollars on NFTs and uh, OMI tokens with absolutely nothing to show. So for me, just the peace of mind of being able to get 1200 back, it was, even though I pretty much put, put it all back and then into OMI and stuff anyways, but it still gave me a peace of mind. Uh, it was also just like, sure, Nightwing could be worth $20,000 at the end of the year, even more. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot for that possibly. But... I, I've came to terms with it and I'm at peace with it and uh, it's just one of those cool things that's like I sold an NFT for over a thousand dollars 
again i'm sure it's gonna be worth more one day but like that's a cool thing like that's something i didn't if i look back on 2015 chris and say hey you're gonna sell a virtual token online for over a thousand percent profit in a couple of weeks i'd be like what no way no no way you know like so again i came to peace with it and uh, it kind of just showed me that it's a you know it's a real thing and that people actually really want these and so yeah there there we are so i almost sold my todd and i'm so glad i didn't um if you're familiar with vv you'll know that todd's valuable as a possession but i can make a whole other video on that uh, i realize that this video most of you are probably watching not really caring about my personal vault really just caring about how much these nfts are worth so i'm gonna just run through the rest i got uh, a couple of adventure time i got um Lumpy Space Princess, Finn, I got Ultraman 7, Harley Quinn, uh, Jim Lee Joker, J. Lee Batman, Jake, uh, and Ultraman 7. I, I bought this common Ultraman from a friend, and I got my I snagged my two uncommons, and then I have the 2D art piece coming in, which uh, the price I'm about to show you uh, did not factor in the 2D piece into it. Uh, hopefully the 2D piece, as I mentioned in my last video, will be worth a lot more than pretty much anything in this vault. Um, a lot of these are first editions or first appearances, so they could be worth a lot more money in the future, but let's get right Right into what they are worth right now according to ebay so i'm gonna go ahead and pull up this browser and uh this is the ebay spreadsheet that i was talking about earlier let me pull it up on my end so um i'm not gonna go through all the individual prices because i mean you i i can link down below or uh, direct you to where to find this so you can actually go look for yourself all right, guys, I actually had to edit a little bit. I think some of them got changed since the last time I messed with it. Uh, so I had to do this pretty quickly. So I'm pretty sure I got it accurate. But if not, I might maybe one or two collectibles off. But anyways, as you can see that this is the sheet. Uh, my portfolio is worth $5,185. I put in each collectible that I have and it calculated it for me. Uh, if we head over to the V Google spreadsheets, uh, this also gives us an idea of what they've been selling for. Like I said earlier on the Telegram and the Discord, it says the average price, the highest price. Um, so you can just kind of get an idea of that the initial price of how much i paid or other people paid for each of them how many additions yada 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 so this kind of shows us what they're going for right now uh as you'll know from my other videos i overall I'm a really big believer in this company. I think that all these collectibles, all these NFTs, especially these first appearances and first editions are gonna skyrocket. Of course, this isn't financial advice. This is just my opinion. And as you can see, I put my money where my mouth is right now. Uh, if anything, this would be a good video for me to look back on in a couple months and be like, man, you were really stupid for spending all those money, all that money on those, or just be like, what a great investment. Um, this app is just, so much fun and so addicting you know i'm able to bring these figures to ar post them on a feed uh friends can comment on them or other people can comment on them i can comment on their stuff uh it's really addicting you know i originally just got into it because i saw a financial opportunity i'm not gonna lie but after being in it as long as i've been in it it's just it's fun to collect them and i won't be surprised if i hold on to some of these collectibles like let's see how much the stay puff man's worth I saw him earlier but no matter what he's worth i mean he's my first one i just can't see myself letting go of stay puff man so here he is right here uh, i actually have this blocking it so stay puff man is worth like I think $80 right now. I'm pretty sure he's worth No, he's worth $350. Um, and that $350 just isn't worth it to me because that was my first NFT purchase ever. So, like, he's really valuable to me. There's also one of these jokers. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but uh, the serial number is almost my zip code, like, to the T. And I think that's really cool. Even though Jim Lee Joker is going to be worth a lot, I'm actually going to sell later on my uh, lower serial number J uh, Jim Lee Joker which is more valuable um, and keep the one of the higher serial number just because the higher one is closer to my zip code. I just think that's cool. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a look at my collectibles. I've been talking a lot about OMI. I've been talking a lot about Ecomi and VV and this project. I really believe in it, uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you exactly what I have invested in what I have in my vault. I'm looking forward to future drops. I'm not going to get too speculative, but it looks like we have some really cool things coming. Uh, as soon as they do come or as soon as there's official announcements, I'll definitely post about it on here and you'll be the first to hear about it from me so anyways until next time guys thanks for watching this to this long in the video if you're not already subscribed to the channel it helped me a lot hit the like button down below and i'll catch you next time peace